Hello everybody, this is Brother Ming, and I'm here today to show off the unboxing for the final product of Geshin Taro. This is very exciting, this is the final production copy uh, that you see in front of me. I've already gone ahead and punched out all the chips, so we can see what this game looks like once you've already organized it. Uh, the box is glossy, it has some UV spotting, uh, which makes it you know very, very pretty on the shelf. Uh, here is different sides, with the mode on the sides, the symbols, and of course, the bottom. Oh, upside down. There we go. Yeah, pause the video if you'd like to read it. All right. Oh, upside down again. There we go. All right, time to open. This is a very heavy game, uh, weighing over seven pounds. And yeah, so. Uh, just like Anna's Roundtable, I really like this style of box insert design with a top lid that's also functional. So we see here we have the rule book that's fit into place. Uh, I'm very happy with this rule book. It is a very clear rule book and concise rule book. It's a lot thinner uh, than my other games uh, because Genshin Zero is actually a pretty straightforward game to play once you get the basics now. Uh, and all the credits and artists, and also all the art is actually in a separate art book. So that allows the rule book to stay in the game box. It's a very thin piece of rule book. Here we have next uh, the boss boards. So they also fit into this divot very well. We have three boss boards, uh, all very pretty with the clock on the back. That's the turn, turn counter. The front, uh, three bosses. We recommend starting with the ball in for your first game. So, put the boss boards to the side. The next thing we have is the player boards. Uh, there's four player boards here that also are a perfect fit on the top as well. So, uh, these boards have little divots for your resources. So you can just move your resource tracker along them. There's also this little divot here for your Mora. So you don't spill all your Mora, your deck, your discard. So, got four player, uh, player boards. Put that in there. So once you remove this top lid section, we have the insert proper. Uh, the insert itself is uh, quite nice. Uh, it's a lot more straightforward than Anna's Roundtable because there's no meeples or anything. And also, uh, this game just has a lot more tokens and a lot more cards too. So the first thing you'll notice is these two long sections for all the cards in the game. This contains all the cards from the base game and the first expansion. And here, this will be enough space for future expansions as well. Uh, in the center here, we have two divots, one for tarot cards and one for all the tokens you'll need. So here, I've got the player card character, uh, the playable character cards as tarot cards. This is the tarot deck of Genshin Tarot. Uh, these are sleeved. So all of these things fit sleeved cards, sleeved components. Uh, these cards, the tarot cards, are gold foiled. I have matte sleeves on them, uh, which I like. So you can see the holographic foil is quite nice. The edges are also gold glint as well. It's, oh, it's not foil, it's gold glint. Foil stamping. But yeah, these are very pretty. And yeah, you'll divine your party of characters using these cards. So they store inside here very nicely. This tarot section uh, makes it very easy to pick up the cards because there's a little bump at the bottom. So your finger can go just right under. Uh, underneath the character tarot cards, we have the enemy tarot cards. Uh, the cards in this game are all smooth, glossy cards instead of uh, linen uh, cards because the texture kind of contrasts with uh, anime art, I think. So these are smooth to really make the anime art pop out. Well, these aren't anime, but you know what I mean. Like the this art, st our art style is much more well reflected with the uh, flat surface of the cards instead of having a texture surface, which usually darkens the print. Okay, on the left side, we have all the cards I stated up here. I have separated with uh, just a little thing uh, I have laying around. Uh, the boss cards, the very status cards. Uh, so all the status cards uh, just go right here. Uh, that's gonna be generic cards that I use every game. Here are all the cards from the characters in the game. Uh, for example, we have right here, Albedo. Uh, each character is separated by a little separator like this. And you've got uh, their burst card, and of course, all of their action cards, uh, unupgraded, and the upgraded versions. Uh, you'll divine a team of four to create your party. Then you'll find your party in here, and just pull all their cards out, and you're ready to go. 
this section also fits uh, sleeve cards, uh, which is perfect for those of you who like sleeving your cards. Here I show you Tartaglia's or child's cards sleeved in the child sleeves. You can purchase these on my Etsy store. Uh, so yeah, these uh, sleeves are great if you're one of the people who likes sleeving their games. So you won't have to worry about In fact, if you sleeve all these cards, it should fit this empty space perfectly. So then you can sleeve your entire game and the future expansion and everything will fit into one box. So in the center section is just where all the other loose tokens will go. There are a lot of tokens in the game, which is why instead of doing the one little space for every type of token, it would kind of get out of hand. So at the top here, we have the turn tracker, which is called a planchette, a uh, fancy word. Uh, that you're going to use to track your turn on the boss board as you play. So this scrolls by one, turn two, turn three, turn four, etc., etc. Uh, we have these resource markers. These are quite thick, very nice to pick up, uh, and they're going to track uh, your. Let's see. They're going to track your player resources. You just put them right here. They fit really well. Uh, you're not gonna move them around until you want to. They pick up very easily because of how thick they are. And yeah, so very easy to track. When your cat jumps on the table, your resources won't go flying everywhere. Something that I hate as a cat owner. So yeah, that's one nice thing. Put that in here. And the game comes with these Ziploc bags, so you don't have to worry about providing your own. Uh, there's all the different uh, bag of Mora, uh, bag of bigger Mora. These are denominations of five and one. Uh, different tokens for every single element that you can apply in the game. Uh, so we have Animo, Electro, uh, Hydro, Cryo, uh, and Geo, and Pyro. Uh, we also have these action point trackers. Uh, damage tokens, so these are reversible between 1 and 2, and also there's these bigger tokens that reverse between 5 and 10 uh, for fighting the boss. We have shield tokens, reversible between 1 and 2, and finally we ha have uh, some dice. These are custom uh, six-sided die. Uh, the game uses six-sided dice for various effects. The bosses use them to determine what they're going to be doing. Uh, we also have elements on each of the sides. Uh, the game doesn't really utilize these elements a lot right now, but the expansion, we plan on using a lot of characters, giving them effects that will use these. Uh, so yeah, that is everything that comes with your copy of Genshin Tarot. Uh, minus the art book. The art book will flip through in a separate video. And I'm very happy to say that I'm very, very proud of how this game came out. Oh, sorry, one more component. Over here, we have the Leyline cards and reference cards uh, that you can put here or you can fit here. You know, there's plenty of space in the middle that for you to just poorly squeeze everything in. It'll feel a little better if you try to try a little harder. But that said, let's put everything back. It just fits in quite nicely. Uh, the great thing about this storage solution is that because everything fits exactly where they need to go, uh, you can store this game vertically and nothing should fall out. So, just like that, you won't have to worry about it. You can store vertically, show it off on your shelf, etc, etc. So, thank you all so much for watching the video. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!